to Nick. Nick Casal. Sports Bar and Grill, the number one, the number one bar in town. The number one bar in town. Nothing, just keep my head straight. Funny thing is, we don't even use trades at our work. <laughs> and somebody told me a lead was some guy was like leading at gaining on me, and I started getting a little shaky. My hand, I mean, like works my muscles out a little bit. It's not, it's not a lot, but when you walk, it's that. I'm in it to win it. You're in it to win it. Go Teresa's away. Cafe, number one. Shout out to Rich. Are you running the next one? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We're representing Teresa's Cafe. Yep. This is Johnny. I'm Saul. Yes. Shakan. Yes. How did you feel? It felt good. Yes. I just lost it right in front of Meditera. I was way out in front. Uh, whatever. Uh, we're hoping. I think I was still uh, in there for the final, though. So what's your name? Saul. I represent Teresa's, yeah. I don't know what place I tell you. I just want to get to the, to the line and not spill, so we made it. Get to see the race. Sir. Yes, it's my first time. It's very interesting. Good. And the competition is fierce. I know. That's actually better. <laughs> There's wind, dude. Well, the wind's kind of killing. There's no wind in Is Master Hunt. Lauren Howie? Uh, I just slow and steady. On final, uh, can you state your name for us? Nicholas Cassell. Aisha Khan. Yeah, go ahead. Kim. Aisha Wolf. Taylor. Saul. I was in to win it, but I lost. It was too hard. It was very hard. Got to train better next year. See you next year. Which number did you come out? Um, I don't know. I dropped two glasses to start, so. The best I could. I lost a glass. But I'm happy with the overall. A little scary on the first of that cannon, but that's <laughs> So how do you, how does it feel? I feel good. I mean I I wanted to get first place, but you know. I started slow. Second, I got second. That's what they say on this. But uh, yeah. I still wasn't expecting one the trade to just be so heavy, as heavy as it was. And uh, the one of the it was just very very unstable. It dropped it right at the very beginning. So. But you will come back next year. Come back next year. Uh, Victory. Oh, it's so, so sweet. Yeah, you can't even imagine. It feels good. It was hard though. My arm was killing me, but it was worth it. It was it was really fun. I had a good time. Oh, it was not easy, but um, I had to. I don't know. Took a lot of sprinting skills. A lot of sprinting skills, but yeah, I did it. I'm Patrick Amis. I work for Mediterra. I uh, just won it. Everybody else uh, got tripped up right from the start, and we just came around, went slow and steady, and won it. Come hither. Closer. Come closer. Our second place men's winner is Saul from Teresa's. Aisha from Eno Terra.
What was the best highlight of the race today? I think the best highlight today was, was just seeing all the different restaurants come together. Um, you know, I work for Palmer Square, and sometimes you just kind of focus on who you have on the square, but it was great to see people from all across town get together, um, some healthy competition, and it's great exposure for all the restaurants, too. My name is Ben and I'm with Buy Brands and we're a proud Princeton company and we're really excited to be here today and we had a great event at the uh, waiters race and uh, we're really proud to be a part of the community. Really a blast to see them coming and, um, and unfortunately, you know, getting so excited towards the end that, you know, things would tremble and you'd see somebody almost get there and lose it, like in seconds, it's so close, but... It was really great. It was great to see their concentration. And what was the highlight of, uh, of the race? I think it was had to be the cannon going off, which uh, apparently we hadn't tested before. And I don't know exactly how loud it was going to be. And I feel bad for the couple of waiters who dropped their trays upon the <laughs> explosion of the cannon. But it certainly made for a lot of good fun. Uh, now, I know that you want to do that again next Day. year. Bastille Day itself, uh, I think, is a Friday next year. So we're looking to do it uh, possibly the day before, the Thursday before. Any words for uh, encouragement for all the waiters that uh, have participated during the race? Well, I think it, it shows that there's, you know, anyone can win this race. It's a matter of patience and kind of discipline more than it is speed, a skill. So I'd love to see everyone give it a try next year.